Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Welcome to another class of creative solutions of a reflection of light. And in my previous video, I explained one creative solutions, and this is the second tutorial where I'm going to explain another type of creative questions which is available in chapter 8 physics. So, those who already studied the uh, reflection of light. This is type of questions that may, may, may be arise in your question paper and you might see this type of question is available. So do we know that how to think about it and do we actually uh, solve the problem which is given here? Let's try. So see the picture. This is a concave mirror complete. And this is an object which is placed in between, in between the pole and the focus that is actually uh, we can say that simply that okay that there is an object is placed in between these but we don't know the focal distance of the mirror number one number two is the length the height of the object is given one centimeter and the height of the image is given four centimeter and also the distance of the image is given and what we can see that the object is in the other side of the mirror so we can see that the distance in this direction would be positive and in this direction would be negative that is my primary concern when we will see this type of creative questions in my question paper so I must consider what are the data is given and how I can solve these questions so that is my primary intention so what is given we know that the length of object is given that is one centimeter the length of image is also given which is four centimeter and the another thing is the distance of image was given so V is minus 20 centimeters. So why it is minus? As because we know this is the other directions and we don't know where exactly the object was placed and what is the focal distance. So how how can we can think? So we have this three data. We have this three data. Okay, primarily. Now the question is define the focal length. So we need to find the f f so how to find f we know we we know the the mirror equation is 1 by v plus 1 by u is 1 by f so through these equations we can find f but we don't know v and u we know v which is given minus 3 but we don't know the u so how to find u but one thing is given l naught and l i is given so through this we can find the magnification we know that magnification is the ratio of the length of image and the length of object so from these equations primarily we can find that l i by l o so simply this is 4 by 1 which is 4 so we got the magnification first and through this magnification can we find u yes so m is actually minus v by u so we know that u is actually minus v by m so now we know that v is minus 20 this minus 20 so think about it and this m i just got it 4 so simply we can find this is positive 5 cm which is the distance of the object. So the object is 5 cm away from the pole but still we don't know the focal distance. So we know that this distance is 5 cm. So right now the object is placed in 5 cm away from the pole. Now you think if we can use 1 by V, 1 by U equal 1 by F. Now I have U and I have V. 
So now I can find the value or the magnitude of focal length. So how to find it? So 1 by V which is 1 by minus 20 plus 1 by 5 that is 1 by F. So it can be it can be 100 it can be 100 and then it can be like minus 5 plus 20 which is 1 by F so it is actually 15 by 100 right 15 by 100 equal 1 by F now I need a calculator to solve it down so through this calculator so I need to find the value of uh, 100 okay so now this is 15 by 100 so if we say that what about if if is 100 by 15 so if it is 100 by 50 divided by 15 which is 6.67 okay so this is the focal length 6.67 centimeter so the focal length is 6.67 centimeter we got it. the first we got the answer so now you think how we proceed through the data that is given in the creative questions so if you have been given this type of questions you first think what are the data available at your hand and what was asked then you will find the process of doing it simple so 6.67 is the focal distance. So what is given here? The focal distance F is given that is 6.67 centimeter. Okay, now we can erase this to, to find out the next questions, which is number D. So number D question is if the object is displaced. 25 centimeter away explain the image right now I know the focal length and also I know the the, the image the object was 5 centimeter away from that but right now you see that F was 6.67 centimeters so the radius is what is F times 2 so it is 6.67 times 2 so I need again calculator so times 2 that is 13.33 so this is 13.33 centimeter is the radius so now the question says 25 centimeter away so previously it was it was 5 centimeter it was 5 cm so now the u would be 5 plus 25 cm which is 30 cm so where is 30 cm is it in between this line no why because we recently find that f is 13.3 and the object was placed in 30 cm so it must be away from the center of curvature so if we draw a figure then we must know that this is P this is F and this is C if it is C according to this figure from that point is 13.33 cm but according to a question the the object was placed in 30 centimeters so it must be here it must be here so if it is here what would be the explanation of the image so we can say that a parallel line will fall into the mirror and then after reflection it will go through the focal distance and another ray will go to the center of curvature and then it will turn back in the same path so we can see the image would be here and what is the nature of the image so if we explain the nature of the image and the explanation of the image we must know first thing is position so this is C and this is F this is P 
So the position is in between, in between C and F. The nature, so the nature can be the nature of the image is real and inverted. This is definitely a real image. So real and inverted. And the size of the image is diminished. That's because we can see that the length of the object, the length of the image is less comparatively. So you can say size is diminished. So I hope you know how to how to explain the image or if the question is explained mathematically then we again need to use these equations so in this in this figure we know that f is 6.67 the data of f we know the u is 30 so we know 30 and then what should be the magnitude of v we can find it from these equations and then we also know the image explanation will be like that. So if in the questions that says that explain with ray diagram, then draw it. And if the question says explain with mathematically uh, or mathematical logic, then we have to prove it. Okay? So I hope you understand the process of doing it. And let me know after watching my videos that do you really understand? Do you really solve your problems of understanding your topic? I shall be so much grateful to have your feedback. See you in the next class. I'm coming up with another tutorial. Bye.